exploration-focused action-adventure games have been a dying breed in the years since Super Metroid perfected them back in 1994. While a few series have kept them on life support through subsequent portable games, the world hasn't really seen a major release on a home console platform in this genre for nearly 12 years. With Shadow Complex, developer Chair Entertainment hopes to return this type of game to its former glory, a goal they should have no difficulty accomplishing as they've crafted an incredible genre-defining adventure that won't be forgotten in a long, long time. Set in the world of Scott Orson Card's Empire novel, Shadow Complex is the story of a couple in the wrong place at the wrong time. When Jason Fleming and his girlfriend Claire go on a spelunking trip and accidentally discover a secret underground base, they run straight into a radical organization calling itself the Progressive Restoration. With Claire captured, it's up to Jason to find a way to storm their stronghold and rescue her. Though the story is poorly integrated, which is a shame, considering that it builds upon the work of a multi-award winning author, Jason's mission to save his girlfriend is really secondary to the action and exploration, both of which are brilliantly blended. Starting out with only a flashlight, Jason must search through the expansive underground facility for weapon caches and equipment to arm himself. Though you're initially restricted to a small section of the restoration base, each new ability you obtain expands this area, which in turn lets you find more power-ups and so on, thus constantly rewarding your efforts. Retracing your steps and backtracking is a necessary part of your adventure, and though it's generally just a minor inconvenience to get from one location to another, Shadow Complex could have benefited from an easier means of transportation from one area to the next. That said, the constant thrill of finding each of the dozens of power-ups, exploring every nook and cranny on the map, and pushing your completion percentages all the way to 100 are more than enough to take your mind off of this and keep you going. No, 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 Claire! Damn it! As you infiltrate the base, you'll encounter legions of heavily armed soldiers and do battle with dozens of their powerful battle mechs. Though the game is a 2D side-scroller, the graphics and environments are all rendered in 3D, which leads to some unique tricks with perspective as soldiers routinely patrol and attack from inaccessible areas in both the foreground and background. Generally speaking, the game knows when you're trying to aim into those directions. However, it's sometimes simply not possible to hit your mark without adjusting your position which can be irksome, especially when you're taking cover behind crates or blast shield. When aiming, it's also possible to pull off headshots or to interact with the environment in a variety of ways. Overhead power cables can be shot down to electrify nearby enemies, fuel canisters can be made to explode, the tiny explosive robots that patrol the walls and ceilings can be shot down or kicked into their allies, and more. And for added variety, you can run up and take out soldiers with one of several impressive melee attacks, or use a powerful ground pound attack you unlock to simply vaporize them. However, the real thrill with combat and shadow complex isn't the small-scale hallway fights, but the huge set-piece battles you must survive. The Restoration knows that you're out there, and they send everything they've got after you, from spider mechs to attack choppers. Each of these battles is enormously fun and often surprisingly interactive with their environment. As you progress deeper into the base, these conflicts intensify, culminating in a final battle that is epic in every sense of the word. Outside of the boss battles, one pleasant surprise is the turret sequences. While they're often boring affairs in most games, any time you get behind a stationary cannon in the Restoration's base is an absolute treat. The camera shifts and you mow down wave after wave of your enemies in an entirely unexpected way, often cackling to yourself the entire time. By focusing on the core themes of exploration and high intensity combat, all while providing a visual facelift in terms of graphics and multiplaying complexity, Shadow Complex is an excellent current generation take on a classic gaming genre. 
There are enough secrets hidden in the underground facility to keep you going for hours on your first playthrough. But between the four difficulty settings, competitive leaderboards, challenge rooms, and some clever achievements and bonus objectives, this is one game you won't want to put down.